Um, there are a couple of scales on Aula that I particularly enjoy that I really, really like to, to have at my disposal that we don't get in other CPTs. And the one I'm thinking about in particular is that those last two scales at the very bottom that are looking at visual attention when the headset is facing the board. And I really love that particular scale because what that suggests to me, when that's elevated, meaning that you're missing visual targets, even though we know because you're in the headset, we know that you're facing the board. What that tells me is that you're not off task necessarily because of something you're hearing or something you're seeing, but rather you're probably in your own head. And that's kind of a third type in some ways of kids that I see with ADHD. I see kids who have a hard time paying attention. I see kids because they get distracted by the auditory and visual things around them. But I also on occasion get those kids who get in their own head. An intake question I always ask people is, you know, if you're paying really good attention to something, what's more likely to distract you? Something you hear in the background, something you see out of the corner of your eye. And after they answer that question, then I always follow it up with, okay, so what's going to be more distracting? Something you hear in the background or your own thoughts? And it's kind of interesting because the people who say my own thoughts, what I'll often see is that last scale, those are the ones that are elevated. It's also really interesting to look at the difference between does it get elevated in the high stimulation start part at the beginning where there's lots of responding, or does it get elevated in the second half of the test when it gets kind of slow and boring and maybe you feel like you have more time to let your mind wander and think about whatever it is that's going on. So that I really, really like. Um, I don't want to talk badly about any any other products, but I was at a I was at a conference. I was exhibiting at a conference a few years ago before COVID, and I was next seated next to uh, one of the CPT manufacturers. And I started talking to them when it was kind of quiet, and told them that I used this test, and told them about that scale in particular. And like, oh, you can do that with our test. I'm like, oh, really? How's that work? What do you do? And I thought they were going to have some like scale that somehow they were able to do. I'm like, oh, you just have to watch them, and if you notice that they're not looking at the screen, that then you know that they're thinking about their own. Thing. Thing. I'm like, well, that's, that's not the same as what I'm talking about here at all. This is like, you know, we're actually tracking their head movement and keeping track of like how much time are they spending looking where they're supposed to. And I feel like it gives you so, such rich information. Um, I just think the ecological validity of the whole thing makes it a really, really useful product. <laughs>